made the costumes for a dance piece that was set to Eric Satie. That was 1988. That was at Charles Keane College in Leicester. Yeah. Do you remember? That cosy old building by the canal. She smoked from the age of 12. She's not she? smoking anymore. She's not doing anything much anymore. Now, making those costumes gave you a creative outlet and a sense of community. And that was important to you as a recent immigrant coming to Leicester. Charles Keane was the only college to do a combined dance and drama A-level. It opened the doors to interdisciplinary practices. We've traced the next student, Roger Dunn. I didn't know Lester had an avant-garde movement in the 1980s. Community avant-garde movement. I wanted to drive you to Leicester Genesis, to Charles Keane, but it's been demolished. I'm sorry about that. It merged with Southfields and then became part of Leicester College, which is now one of the largest colleges in the UK. For many years, we have been witnessing the consolidation of small autonomous colleges into composite organisms made up of multi-campus merger universities run by centralised management. Campus, which is this thing here, shaped like a seahorse, is a major part of the brain and plays an important role in the consolidation of information from short-term to long-term memory and also spatial navigation. This is the first area to get damaged when Alzheimer's sets in. So you would have to fully utilise the hippocampus if you want to survive education now. To navigate the complex structures. So does Genesis need recalibrating? Is her brain lodged in models that are no longer useful? Is she even equipped to survive the current climate? Or is she choosing to withdraw? I mean, we're all stretched, we're all overworked. But you can't just give up, because you feel like it. Every artist I've ever known has threatened to stop being an artist, especially, especially women. women. Every artist I've ever known 